to one one person. Okay. Well, we have three new council members on on the council, and uh, uh, people of community were. Uh, uh, unhappy with the way the town was being run and, and uh, with the police chief and uh, we're trying to rectify that problem. In Piedmont, this jail area isn't used very often. In fact, last month officers arrested two people and they handed down about 34 traffic citations. So while city officials are looking for a new police chief, the newly instated officers are back patrolling the streets. Jane Boone, Action 4 in Piedmont. The viewer asks, the last paycheck I received from my employer, which was a non-profit private corporation, was returned to me marked insufficient funds. The two co-signers on the check refused to make the check good and the corporation has since filed bankruptcy. I was informed that the signers are probably not liable since the organization was incorporated. What can I do to get the pay that I'm entitled to? Under Oklahoma law, when a person signs his name on a check, which is drawn on a corporate account, showing the name of the corporation and the title or status of the person signing the check, such as president or treasurer. Then only the corporation is going to be liable on the check. And if your claim has been discharged in bankruptcy, there's little you can do. However, if the signers of the check did not indicate that they were signing in their capacity as a corporate officer, then they may also be personally liable for payment of the funds from their own accounts, which should serve as a warning to corporate officers. Make sure the check shows your company name and your title when you sign it. For Action 4, this is Ray Vaughn with Legal Briefs. This deals specifically with the furnishing of supplies to the county by suppliers. It's not an investigation of the county commissioners or county officers. Uh, we're merely checking to make sure, to, to ascertain whether the county received the supplies that they paid for. restrict the use of deadly force by police officers and citizens to those those felonies that are forcible or atrocious in nature. In other words, armed robbery, murder, rape, uh, burglary one, which would be a forcible felony, which would be someone breaking into your home. Um, but we would exclude such minor non-violent felonies as uh, writing a hot check, um, uh, perjury, things of that nature. We, we think that it's far too broad.
It was good to hear from you and to know that you want to help build a better America. If we all share in the work to be done, we will share too. And a feeling of self-worth and pride in our country with best wishes, Ronald Reagan. When did you send it to her? Um, I think in April. April, when was it? When, I, when he got shot. Is that part of the reason why you sent the letter to him? Mm-hmm. How does it make you feel now that he's written your letter back? Oh, I don't know. It just feels great. You gonna write him any more letters? Yeah. <laughs> which attempt to verbalize the concept of I think what the bubble regulation means is that there will be no less pollution controls, simply more economical pollution controls. He called me from a telephone booth. I started a petition, which is friends and co-workers and, and people that I contacted, and I did it in about a couple of days. And how many signatures did you get? Around 150. Was it hard collecting them? No, no. I did have some that, you know, didn't want to sign it, but very few. series about the neighborhood dogs being stolen. This law here uh, on dog fighting bill will just make, let me just read a, a short insert here. Every, any person who maliciously for any bet, stake, or reward instigate encourages dog fighting is guilty of a felony. Right now that's a misdemeanor punishable by a maximum fine of $500 and when a guy is raking in $10,000 a night a $500 fine is not going to hurt him very much. The legislature is in the dead bill portion of this session, so Osborne's bill won't be considered until next January. By then, he may have some valuable allies. Mike Combs is interested in sponsoring a bill in the Senate. Governor Nye's office says the governor is very concerned about organized dogfighting, so concerned that his mini-cabinet is going to meet to discuss the matter. Bill Ross, Action 4 at the State Capitol. We do investigate the promoters of these schemes, and then, of course, we will follow up if it is judged that it is a fraudulent situation. And the government has conditioned us through IRS intimidation, IRS fright, through uh, constant publication, the IRS will get you if you don't pay your taxes. They have made Americans afraid not to do anything to, you know, get buck the system, so to speak. Here's the president of Liberty Ministries International. The ministry can, uh, but this list here shows us that 
be. These are. Uh, uh, A viewer wants to know about a situation where a guy lives with a lady for a number of years in a common law marriage and then leaves and later finds another woman he wants to marry. Does he have to get a legal divorce from the first common law wife? Well, what if he dies then after a second marriage? Would the common law wife then be entitled to anything? There is no such thing as a common law divorce. Thus, once a common law marriage has been established, it must be dissolved by following the regular divorce proceedings. This must be done first before a second marriage could be entered into and be recognized as legal. Therefore, if someone marries another person without divorcing a prior common law wife and then died, since he could not legally marry the second woman, that marriage would not be recognized, and his estate would pass to his first common law wife and any children which she might have had by him. Where the second wife did not know about the first marriage until after the death of her husband, and where she had made substantial contributions to his estate, then perhaps she could be entitled to recover those. For Action 4, this is Ray Vaughn with Legal Briefs. I think there's areas that could be uh, in city government that needs to be streamlined, like uh, Reagan is doing with the federal government. But I don't think it needs to be in the hands of your police and fire protection for your city. But it's going to be an ever-ending problem. What's the address? at a point we've stretched ourselves as far as we can go so anything from this point on is going to have to be new and additional this is just one of several fire stations that was built to protect the people in outlying parts of oklahoma city chief hollander says that as oklahoma city grows it will be important that his successor make sure the fire protection grows with it jane boone action four in northwest oklahoma city A lot of people have speculated that the fan will be a box office failure because of the recent assassination attempt on President Reagan. The fan is about a star of the screen and the stage, and a psychotic fan of hers who's willing to kill anyone that he sees as a threat to his relationship with his idol. Well, John Hinckley is said to have read the fan when it came out as a book over three years ago, and after he shot the president, he said that he did so because he had made disparaging remarks about Jodie Foster. The possibilities are a little shocking and frankly a little frightening. But I think the movie The Fan ought to be taken on its own merits rather than on a sad incident that some people are relating to it. Lauren Bacall plays Sally Ross. Michael Bean plays her fan. You interrupted a very wonderful evening. Right now I'm having dinner with a very famous actress, a great star of stage and screen. Who? Never mind. Look, Doug, it was one thing when we were kids to, to dress up and collect stuff and, and pretend. But when you grow up, you gotta face the world like... Douglas. Douglas! Here's to us, Sally Dark. Taken at its own worth, The Fan is a fairly good movie. It's an astounding story of two people who have never met and yet they manage to control one another's lives. 
There are perhaps a few inappropriate terror tactics that the movie is a little too intellectual for, and there's a little more blood than what I would have chosen. On the other hand, I get squeamish just reading about someone skinning their knee. But all in all, it's a good movie, and it's one worth going out of your way for, even though it has been linked to recent violence. Charles Schnitzer, Action 4. If on the third round, suppose O'Doc starts on top by 38 votes, or by 18 votes, or by 20 votes, would I, would I also call for a legalized election? Absolutely, if there were still un, unregistered voters. My argument in this situation is not with Mr. Long. My argument is with the legislature and the teachers union who bitterly refuse to make it right. Isn't it just gorgeous out here? I can hardly wait for the 4th of July. Ted Brown, Action 4 at Lake Thunderbird. This is the Cleveland County Courthouse down in Norman. This building is usually bustling with activity, but things are kind of quiet today and they're forecast to remain that way for at least a week. Same thing. 
And so with the exception of murder and aggravated assault, Oklahoma City is seeing more crime this year. Now for a look at the crime situation in rural areas of Oklahoma, here's Action Force Ted Brown. I just wanted something different. I've always been that way all my life. I don't like to be just a run-of-the-mill guy. I didn't find them all up and down the road out here. You won't find many of them driving an airplane up and down the road. Or at least that's what all the truck drivers tell me. Too far over. No, you're fine. Nobody's there, but I found again. We're on it, we'll blow this bastard away. Let's go. Okay. No. I'm Detective Bob Rowell. If you have any information about this murder, Call Crime Stoppers. If your information leads to the arrest of the person or persons responsible for this murder, Crime Stoppers will pay a reward of up to $1,000. Crime Stoppers also pays cash rewards for information about other serious crimes, and all callers do remain anonymous. The number to call with information is 235-7300.